Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to yet another podcast on business networking with Vipul Bondal. We've had some very, very amazing guests over a period of time. We've had, uh, we began with speaking to Suresh Menon, who's in the sales aggregating business. We had Adi Pocha on the show. We've had uh, Rakhi Gupta, who's a, a lifestylist. We've also had a business coach in Sanjay Vadva. We had Mayank Marda. Who was in the who's in the travel business? We also had the recent one we did was with Prashant Bhatia of Cambridge Apparels. But today I have someone who's uh, many things to me actually. He's a very good friend. He's a colleague. He's someone whom I've done work with, whom I admire a lot, respect a lot for the kind of work he does. He is a creative genius, if I may use the word. He's one of the coolest people I've met in the profession nothing nothing ever seems to bother him uh, when it comes to doing his work and you know he has been doing this relentlessly for the last 12 years and you know strangely enough he calls his company poiling point communications so gives me great pleasure to welcome niket karveer hi people thank you so much for inviting me so let me give you a brief introduction to niket and you know this is an introduction which he's written himself so you know he can't uh, get away from it he says he's like the fourth idiot from the movie three idiots you know he says he started his life off as a computer engineer but veered towards his true passion which is design and thanks to his parents who gave him the freedom to choose his dreams he kicked off his career as a trainee dtp operator in a tiny mumbai agency you know after that he followed his dream of becoming a art director and there and later on a creative director fast forward 12 years with some great mentors by his side he's worked with some of the top firms in india such as uh, atlantis triton communications ibnw euro rscg and also with vgc in fact uh, niket also has a pod, uh, has a podcast going on thinkly talks where he recently had uh, Preeti Vyas of VGC Communications coming and he spoke to her live last week. Uh, you know, he's done some amazing work along the way. He's worked with some big names like Philips, Videocon, Times of India, Aditya Birla Group, Ashok Leyland, Taj Hotels, Discovery Travel and Living Channel, Indian Express, Lee Jeans, Demexon Diamonds and Filmfare. At when he was with VGC, he made it to the top ten Indian art directors list, judged advertising awards, and and scored the New York Festival's bronze trophy for the Aditya Birla corporate film. Now, as co-founder and creative head at Boiling Point Communications, he he says he's shipping, he's steering his ship to greatness. Well, that's just the career part. Other than this. you know he is he is into a lot of other things you know he is a 10 meter rifle shooting he loves trekking he watches every possible movies that release on this planet he loves animals and can't resist exploring new places and he does something amazing he is a animal human plant communicator he does energy healing he does downsizing sorry dowsing dowsing <laughs> dowsing i'm sorry uh, crystal healing and meditation and he's constantly diving into new adventures i'm sure he's done some deal with god and got himself 50 hours in a day he has 26 years of experience in graphic design and advertising he says he is here to help companies connect with their audience through killer solutions whether you're a startup a director a marketing head a real estate developer or a hotel and fnb owner welcome niket a man with multifaceted personality thank you so much uh, vipul uh, i think you covered very much everything about me fantastic i i i was hoping you'll say there is something more uh, the, you never know as that. always but you know friends i'll tell you one thing niket is a close friend so this conversation is not going to be a you know interview is going to be more like a chat between two friends and i'm meeting him after a fairly long time so please don't mind if there's some friendly banter between us so it's going to be a little bit of a friendly banter niket i hope you don't mind absolutely 
Okay. Know. So, you know, uh, let me ask you something I've always wanted to ask. So it's often said that some of the most creative people in the world were not trained to be creative as such, you know. So you are one such person. You started out, you know, as an engineer by qualification. But once when people see your track record as a creative guy, you know, it's it's an enviable track record. Can you just walk us through your journey? How did this happen? Yeah, so uh, I think uh, a lot of uh, well-known uh, personalities and names from the advertising industry who never came from a proper, uh, uh, who have never done a course, whether it's art or whether it's uh, communications. And, uh, you know, like, uh, I, I guess even Piyush Pandey for that matter, uh, you know, he's like the god in advertising uh, I, he has done so many different roles, theaters and stuff like that. He's been a tea taster and, you know, so people experiment Cricketer. and then they settle or end up with being in advertising and designing. Right. And, uh, it's about finding your passion right. and uh, where uh, that's what even uh, uh, I did was uh, when I finished my engineering, you know, during that time, uh, computers was the in thing in the 90s and uh, uh, all the parents I think would have uh, would tell their kids after 10th or 12th just join the engineering That's any right. kind of engineering but just go into computer engineering or electronics so That's I right. was so made to do that but during my journey as an engineer I also realized that I am not an engineer mind <laughs> okay so a lot of funny stuff happened over there and, uh, and when I cleared engineering I did programming for a certain period of time. I learned programming and I was doing job for six months and every evening I used to get headaches. So I used to wonder why I'm getting headaches. Now I know because it was more on a logical mindset and mine was right. more the creative mindset. So okay. uh, finally, you know, one thought just came one day that why not try out advertising? I was very good in uh, sketching. I was very good in drawing. Right. So I thought, uh, you know, like, let's try that. And right. through a uh, uh, through a connect, I got into a very small agency in Dadar called, uh, uh, actually it was a PR agency okay. uh, uh, led by uh, C.Y. Gopinath, a well-known uh, personality in uh, writing features in right. newspapers and also, uh, I think he was also the art person, art director in Lintas that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was also considered the father of Macintosh in India because he was the first person to have the Apple. The first Apple in India was with his office. And I, as a trainee DTP operator, was the first one to look at it. <laughs> okay. okay. So never, never got an opportunity to touch it. But yes, so that's how the journey started. And uh, over a period, then I you know, joined Triton Communication as a, again as a DTP operator. And, and during that time, I also did this landmark forum. And that actually... Ah. Uh, changed my life considerably, my mindset. So from being an introvert to being unstoppable, uh, no fears, the belief systems had changed during that program. And uh, I approached the creative director and told them, why not give me an opportunity to do the some designs and you can present it along with your art team. And uh, that's how the journey started. My design started getting approved in uh, as compared to the art people. And uh, so that was the first initial baby steps, right. I would say. And then uh, the divine was graceful because I think once you are focused into what you want and you pour in your heart and time over there uh, right. without looking at what kind of mon monies you are getting, uh, what kind of salaries you are getting, I think you just focus on gaining knowledge and growing in your field. Uh, opportunities come, the right people are sent in your life. And that's what happened to me. The right mentors were sent. Uh, apparently, uh, Vipul, you know, I never applied for a job. I was always picked up from one agency to the other by creative directors. <laughs> so they saw something in me and they got they picked me up and I at the end of my uh, job career I was with VGC Prithivaj Janiti as a creative director uh, for almost six years and I did some amazing work over there great great so I said you know as I said in the beginning you have an enviable track record you know that happens when you know people actually reach out to you and want you to work with them rather than the other way around. So what do you, what is the role that you see for, you know, design is, you know, once you mentioned to me, is very design is very subjective. I mean, it's a very subjective thing. What you see as design, I might not see as design or the other way around. So what is good design and why is it good for you, business according to you? Yeah. So when you had mentioned about good design, you know, it's, it's a very subjective because for what 
uh, I consider as a good design. Maybe for you, it might be an average, or maybe you won't like it. Now that uh, why is that? Because uh, you know what appeals to you as a human being. It's very it's it's very customizable. So your set of values, your set of likings, uh, what you like, what you don't like, whether it's the form, whether it's the colors. Uh, so uh, speaking in terms uh, uh, relating it to a brand. So for yeah. example, if I am talking about say a footwear. So you know, for example, if I like a Nike, and maybe you like uh, Adidas or Adidas, maybe, yeah. uh, or something, th th what is the reason behind that? Is it is it the logo? Is it so the design itself creates a certain persona, right, about the brand, and that connects with the consumer in a very strong way. So you need to have a very good design which can translate your business uh, values, your vision. Under, and keeping that keeping the consumer in mind okay so you need to be very clear who your consumer is uh, yeah. what are the likes dislikes uh, so very good another example is uh, look at fashion industry okay or perfume industry now you right. open any of the gq magazines or a vogue magazine and uh, you see a lot of these advertisements for fashion industries whether it's tommy hilfiger or uh, uh, calvin klein or ck or any of the brands have you you know you'll see that it's only imagery and there is never a headline or anything it's just the uh, it, there's there's basically just the model and then there's the logo okay right so very deep rooted thought and a strategy behind doing that they don't need to communicate or they don't need to write anything okay the visual communicates and connects to the right consumer so right. for example you know tommy hilfiger is a is a brand for groups it's a it's a brand for friends so their communication will always showcase people together friends together wherein ck will show about a solo man or a solo woman or maybe as a couple so right. each brand has have their own narration they have their own guidelines what they stand for and that is how they project themselves in their advertising in their design and how that's how they connect and tell me one thing i mean is uh, design only i mean you know, when you are talking design, do we say design of a product also? I mean, you know, I mean, you know, looking beyond a brand, just the brand, let's say a product, the way a product is designed, does it normally also get integrated with uh, the way, a, you know, a designer thinks? I mean, absolutely, absolutely. A brand is not just the logo, the logo or the identity is just a part of it. Okay. Uh, essentially, you have, you need to have a, a very clear brand story. You need to define your brand DNA, and right. all the all the uh, outputs that are out of it. So whether it's your uh, brand identity, whether it's your product, whether it's your uh, customer service, whether it's your retail uh, design, your space design, uh, this is for the external communication. If uh, from the HR perspective, your uh, employees for employees, what are what are the kind of space that you have designed? Uh, what are the values that you set for them? So that everything needs to uh, be concentrated and focused towards the core brand story. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, for example, Nike. Nike is a very good example. When Nike, uh, you know the story about Jordan, right? So when Nike came out with the Nike Air, the yeah. Jordan Air, and how the the design and the branding got beautifully integrated and created, and the rest was history. Correct. Yeah. So that's how... Uh, how that's how uh, the brand, uh, whether it's a brand product design, everything needs to tell the same story. Okay, okay, understood. Okay, so let's take a question at this stage, Nikhil. I think a question which is very some, you know, in line with what we are just talking. This is a question from Mohit on the group. He asks, "How does design influence brand perception and customer loyalty?" Yeah. Hi, Mohit. Uh, so. Uh, Brand, like I mentioned to you right now, a brand de design, uh, first of all, will uh, showcase or project what the brand stands about at the initial phase. That's the phase one. So what you see always is the, uh, the logo part, the identity part, and that's how you connect with a brand. The second, obviously, is it also helps you differentiate your brand from the competition in the market. So uh, when you look at uh, any of the brands that you connect with, whether it's a footwear or a fashion or telecommunication or a mobile that you use, uh, you you uh, you know what Samsung stands for, you know what Apple stands for. And that's, that's where uh, 
you know subconsciously you get connected as a consumer to a particular brand where your interest lie once that connection happens is when the relation with the consumer starts now it's not just the identity but uh, by design the customer experience you know so when you walk in into a store when you do an online purchase what is how the brand interacts with the customer is very crucial so that engagement is the uh, the stage where the relationship starts forming or building and now the brand needs to then take care of how you going to sustain it over a period of time yeah so not losing its core values not losing its essence and it's a you know vipul it uh, sounds very simple but to sustain that and to create yeah. on a longer basis it's it's very difficult you need to have a very strong team who ensures that uh, uh, this is done over a period of time that's how brand becomes successful and you get basically a brand loyalty over a period of time fantastic okay so let's now uh, talk about you know something which is a little uh, closer to you okay so mm-hmm. niket uh, can you walk us through some of your best work that you've done as a creative person yeah sure i have uh, i mean it's difficult to just name a few but uh, top of the mind i think uh, uh, at vgc i had done some really memorable work uh, okay. the dna newspaper logo was designed by me that time okay. and uh, not just the logo but i was also the designer for the entire newspaper so the entire oh. newspaper uh, all the pages were designed by me the editorial right, design that. say was done by me so that was something very close because it is it's not like uh, you get this opportunities on a day to day basis yeah you know, absolutely typically for corporates and other uh, brands you do get to work but a newspaper to, to to design a newspaper is a big thing so that was a yeah. very good experience i would say uh, secondly i think uh, irish house so you guys must have uh, gone to any of the irish house pubs all over india in bombay there are a couple of them so that's been our baby and uh, with boiling point we created that brand and again that has been a very successful story uh, right from the uh, the the logo to the complete Uh, the signages the uniform designs the wall graphics that you see in the irish house uh, to creating the menu designs and the overall brand guidelines for the uh, irish house so we were uh, instrumental in doing that and it's become a success story uh, apart from that uh, another brand which is stuff cool you must have seen the stuff cool which is a indian mobile accessory brand uh, it's a made in india and since last 7 years right from the logo design to the complete packaging has been developed by us so it's again a very big success story for us today stuff cool is one of the top uh, brands known by quality yeah and you know if if there is one you know company or or one campaign that you know has given you the greatest joy to do or to work for which one would that be i know it's a tough question to answer take your time to think about it if you want which is that one bachcha that you like you know it's like asking a parent who has several children which is that one bachcha you like so is there one or two bachchas which you you know is your favorite bachcha yeah yeah the first like i told mentioned to you about is uh, irish house the irish house was a very good uh, project and uh, it was one of my favorite uh, campaigns or brand identity designs that we created uh, apart from that i think there have been several we have done work for parlay products also where we have done crack check packaging and lot of other packaging works so like you said you know uh there are a lot of siblings yeah <laughs> family is huge and uh, <laughs> i agree <laughs> we've okay. done some amazing uh, uh even campaigns uh, i had done with vgc for times matrimonials which are also quite even the launch of discovery travel and living channel was done during that time so the entire campaign was handled by me uh, by me and my team so quite memorable some uh, work done during that time all of this is what the early early 2000s to up to 2012 13 yes i mean the world of advertising and creative has thereafter changed quite a bit right niket i mean if yes. you see ads in in the recent past uh you know we don't see that much of newness there's a lot of uh you know sometimes it comes across as more or less similar uh advertising a lot of it seems to be driven by uh numbers you know what is the return that we are going to get on let's say a campaign or you know uh, a certain creative event perhaps and uh, you know it's a lot of it is sales driven mm. so do you do you feel that or or is it just me i mean i feel that you know there's a lot of sameness in the kind of 
advertising that we see recently compared to let's say 20 years ago when there was a lot of creativity in in the campaigns that them saw yeah it's uh, even i have noticed uh, during my journey over here uh, with boiling point and earlier also with the advertising agencies so digital has made a lot of impact uh, positive and i would say negative from the creative point of view i would say uh, like i had mentioned in my interview with preeti also that you know the art of uh, designing uh, com- campaigns or the communication has somehow lost its charm so if i te- if i ask you you know which are the top uh, tv commercials that you remember you know so for me the top of my mind would be you know uh, the fevi call the cadbury or correct like that you know uh, Ray quite Met- a lot actually yeah so but all of them are fairly old i mean in that sense absolutely so in the latest do you recall any of the communication that has been memorable that really stand stood out in the clutter whether it's television or whether it's an online campaign not so, really not really yeah, so so nothing so i think uh, uh, digital could be one of the reasons mm-hmm. wherein it's a very fast moving uh, uh, you know the time taken for a campaign how much time is given for a creative team to come out with the right creative strategy and then the solution uh, and also like you said dictated by the numbers so how much uh, freedom is given to the creative team obviously the team the creative people are the same uh, they right. exist in the same uh, sphere or the same space uh, but what dictates uh, their uh, creativity is very crucial correct i think uh, Uh, you know if you have that kind of creative space wherein people can come out with really brilliant stuff what onm had done uh, you know few years back uh, was really wonderful uh, whether it's your uh, vodafone the zuzu character that that's right you know which is simply brilliant the way they have integrated that into the advertising and that's how you build a brand and that's how you get a memorable brand identity yeah so, i mean when you were saying this i actually remembered the zuzu campaign because you know it was completely uh, different than what uh, we've seen so far and it was on, coming on the back of a very successful campaign which hutch had did with the pug and you know it was it soon followed that and you know then they moved into the zuzus and you know it it really takes i mean you know it takes a lot of courage if i may say for even for the brand itself to you know accept something like that Mm. because uh, you know it, it i'm sure it was a courageous decision on the part of the brand not not just the agency to be able to you know execute something like that mm. and you know and then to pull it off with uh, really integrating it across all the mediums that they use you know absolutely so uh, let's take a question here from anand sharma yeah so he says what are the emerging technologies shaping the future of design in business i think uh, ai artificial intelligence as we all know has started creeping in into uh, designing and uh, uh, you know creating visual stuff uh, to what extent it can be used on the commercial that we still have to see the impact of it uh, especially in the indian market internationally right. think it has penetrated quite a bit um, but in the indian market to what extent uh, are we going to use it the ai is still to be explored i think metaverse again uh, is something which uh, we are going to have a more detail in my on the friday we going to have a guest sure. who an expert on that so we'll also see over there how it's going can be explored more so metaverse and ai you think are are two technologies that you see shaping design in the future yeah it they can again they are i think they need to be considered as tools rather than threats a lot of i uh, you know i've heard a lot of uh, on the online medium also that whether ai is going to take over uh, the creative teams and you know whether they are going to start uh, you know business owners will have their own ai uh, versions wherein you know they can create their own designs through ai and don't, the the jobs of the designers are at stake but yeah. i don't think that because at end of the day human mind is human mind that's how your uh, uniqueness will come in uh, but you use it uh to save time to save money and so that still needs to be explored i think no i i also completely agree with you i mean i'm sure these technologies are great tools to have i mean they'll just improve the speed and efficiency with which 
uh, you know, you'll deliver. But I think the creativity which is inborn, uh, I think, I mean, at this point, nothing is impossible, but I think uh, AI is still going to take a little while to get there. So, uh, did you did, uh, did you see the latest Apple uh, ad which is uh, going on? Don't let me go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a brilliant, you know, very nicely they have integrated AI part into the TV commercial. Correct, correct, correct. And so nicely it's put, it brings a smile to your face. Yeah. And uh, you can relate to it very nicely. Correct. So, quite nice, you know, so that's what I'm saying. So, how you integrate that smartly into your communication, whether it's your new age or whether it's a traditional uh, communication. Yeah. Okay. So, let's move on to something different than, uh, you know, creative or, you know, uh, what we've been talking about. So, you know, you're not just a creative person, you're also an entrepreneur, Niket, and a very successful one at that. Uh, But, you know, typically creative people are not known as being good entrepreneurs. In fact, a lot of them themselves say, you know, I'm not a great entrepreneur. Uh, maybe that's that's what, uh, you know, becomes the uh, single most important communication they give, that we are not great entrepreneurs. But you built a very successful creative business. So what is it that you think you've done differently? I married a good entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> so, good one. <laughs> no, so... Um, I wouldn't say not, not jokes apart, but it's a serious thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I really married a, uh, you know, my better half, you know, Janvi, she is. Yes. So she has a good mindset in terms of uh, the run of business and customer relation. So we balance off uh, the business very well in that way. Uh, yeah. Secondly, I think uh, Vipul, as, uh, as a creative person, like you rightly said, when you're working, you're focused only on the uh, creative part of it. Right. But when you start an agency or when you start a business, suddenly you are bombarded with so many different problems or issues and you know a lot of aspects about business that you never had before or you never right. thought. So Correct. first thing that I would, uh, from my experience, is advise or uh, recommend uh, anyone who is getting into a business from the creative side is change your belief system. Okay. Because what you tell yourself is what you become. Okay. Correct. So the moment you say that I am a, only a good creative person and I'm not an entrepreneur, please change that sentence in your life. Because, right. you're, you know, since I work <laughs> with mind and uh, energies and I understand that, so you change your Correct. belief system that you, you need to, uh, you need to re- redefine yourself as a person. Right. Okay. And over a period of time, that's what I've, even today, for example, there are a lot of things which I still have to master it in the in the in the business front in the entrepreneur front. Sure. But it's a good learning process. So, friends, uh, you know, you not only need to get married to the right person, you also need to build a good belief system and you know a good mindset. Great thought, great thought, Nikit. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. But you know, another thing that you you do very well is networking business networking and that's where we met actually you know how what is the role of networking for a successful enterprise and how has it helped you can you tell, speak up a little bit about this yeah sure Vipul. Uh, so for me um, the approach is very simple Vipul. i think you also have also noticed it when we were working on a few common projects right wherein my approach is to build a relationship and not to focus on the that particular project. Uh, and this goes, this philosophy goes not just for the clients, but I think even in our networking platforms. So the focus I think is, was not on uh, a one-time project or with money in mind or for getting something from them, but it's yeah. more of the, the sheer experience and the excitement that you're meeting someone new and then you're meeting, uh, you know, you having that kind of a context sphere wherein you're sharing ideas, you're sharing so many different things about yourself and you're welcoming people in your sphere, in your group, or you, you get yourself introduced to other spheres. Okay. Right. So it's all about end of the day. It's all about relationships. So you value that today. I have such amazing clients who have become friends through, uh, uh, you know, the work keeps on happening, but it's, I really cherish is the relationship that I have built with these individuals. Right. You know, today we don't talk in that formal client uh, agency thing. Agency, it's yeah. more of really. a very, you know, friendly talks, chats, 
you know so that's something which i like uh, i would like to add something which uh, janvi my wife uh, she had told me from her uh, hotel industry times which actually gave me a very good uh, example and impact on my mindset they had a sales person in their team in laurel merit at that time and this gentleman uh, she had told me that this gentleman used to visit all the clients corporate houses uh, the marketing heads the admin head the purchase heads and just go have a tea chit chat about all general stuff and come back he never ever spoke about work or pitched in for sales during any of his talks oh, and okay. that i generated the most sales <laughs> so never never uttered a sales speech never did a sales speech never went and spoke he just went hi hello i was in the vicinity and let's have a you know spoke tea politics spoke about something else spoke about the industry whatever and awesome. came back i buy you know but he got he turned out to be the best uh, person who got the best sales in the team so that right. gave me a very good uh, insight in the initial times fantastic but great insight actually and you know what you said is so true i mean it's not just about you know uh, making money i mean money making money is a by product yeah. i think what is important is focusing on uh, building a good relationship with the customer Uh, a long lasting relationship so that they eventually become friends and they don't look beyond you i mean you are the uh, person they would go to uh, when they have a requirement i mean i think and you know that example of the salesman you gave i think is perfect i mean you know they knew that you know he's there who, who can you know give so, us so basically what needs. it's, it's uh, the the recall value correct so when when there comes an opportunity who's on the top of your mind it's that person right okay so let's take a question here from pia so she says she asks what is what role does design play in differentiating products in a competitive marketplace i think you answered this before but yeah. you know, so let's let's answer this for priya once again yeah so pia in uh, terms of the design uh, so whether it's the product design whether is the identity uh, that's the visual part of it and that's where uh, consumers first notice and experience a particular brand yeah so that uh, if you have a clear picture if you know if you have done your mapping of your competition and uh, per se and how you want to position your brand in the market okay so once you have defined that you have decide, defined your certain value systems i think the design is then uh, dictated by that strategy so your product design uh whether it's the what kind of colors what kind of forms will dictate that so uh, you know certain brands will own a particular color uh, the cert- certain brands will own a particular design and then for example in automotive industry you know uh, de- design is so crucial in the product so you know uh, what a jaguar looks like you know what a, if you remove the logo you know how a land a range rover will look like you know how a mercedes looks like just from the the sheer uh, the design and the grill in in fact the front grill and the headlights you come to know what kind of a brand it is that's the that's the kind of differentiator that's the kind of impact of design can make into for a brand so uh, you know in the same context i'll ask another question which sidesh has asked uh. so sidesh has asked based on your experience what are the key elements of a successful design strategy for businesses okay so uh, design strategy is uh, sidesh again i would say like i just re- uh, uh, reiterate the same thing is you need to have a clear understanding of uh, what the brand stands for uh, you know you need to be on the same page as the uh, as the the brand owner uh, understand the brand's vision mission uh, understand who the stakeholders are uh, when i say stakeholders it's all the connecting where the brand connects to in the entire business sphere spectrum so whether it's uh, whether it's the customers whether it's your internal uh, employees whether it's your vendors whether it's your distributors uh, so all the uh, the entire spectrum needs to be taken care of when you're do- doing the design or when you're establishing the strategy for the design okay you need to understand what the brand stands for uh, what is the brand character you need to define the brand tonality and uh, then approach uh, towards the design once you have a clarity on all these aspects uh, when you define uh, all these aspects and then you start uh, you know on the drawing board 
so that's a lot of hard work niket yes <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> it it actually looks easier than you know it is so you know and you as you rightly said it's in the beginning uh, a little earlier you had mentioned it's not easy it needs a lot of hard work a lot of uh, homework on on your part to understand the brand understand the consumer uh consumer of the brand of course and and therefore you know integrate design into your strategy it is not just about picking up a pencil and a paper and you know putting it together and coming out with something that's that's stories for the business magazines later on but actually you know there are a lot of people like niket who are working in the trenches making things happen before you know you see a brand in the right way in the right design absolutely okay niket so let's uh, change uh, the trajectory a little bit and let's talk about another part of your personality which is spirituality you are big on spirituality i think uh, you do what i mean at least seven or eight different types of uh, spiritual pursuits if i may use the word so when i say oh. spiritual it's not about uh, following a particular religion or a god per se but in uh, energy work right energy work okay so that's believe. the right word i was looking for that's yeah so strongly, strongly uh, i was introduced to this uh, around 10 5 12 years back mm-hmm. i uh, did a course and i was ex- i was uh, i did uh, crystal healing reiki uh, dowsing uh, then uh, even connecting with other human beings and uh, you know getting messages and stuff like that so it's a very uh, Uh, you know you connect with the soul le- at a soul level and you get right. uh, you do readings you do healing uh, currently i am exploring uh, being a healer so i am right. uh, working on myself on that uh, yeah so it's very interesting i was always intrigued by it and i also did past life uh, traveling so it is okay. quite interesting experiences fine so i mean would you like to tell us a couple of stories about your experiences mm-hmm. in that i mean if it's not uh, too confidential or something like that I mean, I can narrate one particular incident uh, wherein sure. uh, a person had lost uh, her car, and uh, she called me up immediately on the phone, and she told me, "Can you connect with the car and uh, the person who had <laughs> uh, stolen it, and uh-huh. can you check if I if I can get my car back?" Okay. And uh, so I connected immediately with the car and uh, the person, and I got certain messages from that, and uh, I I gave that person a particular date. where the car will be get, she will get the car back i also told her the it will be uh, you know a inspector will give the car back and the name of the inspector and also the car will be in a better condition and then what she has lost and you won't believe it on the very same date that i had predicted she calls calls me up and she tells that i niket i have got the car back uh it was in pan as so i had also uh, predicted it was in panvel so it it was in panvel uh, uh inspector called sachin who i had to- told the name also he got it and oh, the car okay. was fitted with uh, new speakers so <laughs> <laughs> so that okay. that's a very uh, i would say my initial experiences into this but it's it's amazing i mean you know uh, once you are tuned in everybody has that uh, power you just need to open up your chakras you need to get alignments in your energy flow and you can access some amazing uh, experiences you can uh, get and does that help you in your uh, design work i'm i'm sure it does so absolutely absolutely so uh, people where do ideas come from you know uh, i mean they don't just come from the top of mind so once uh, typically when you approach any design and strategy especially from the creative mind- mindset i'm saying Uh, we gather all the 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 strategic information the factual information okay mm-hmm. but now that the time comes a moment comes when all this information is to be translated into a creative form okay so right. without losing any of the essence of the strategy the yeah. facts or the figures so how do we do that so i strongly believe and i have uh, since i am working into energy i have uh, explored that that uh, you know when you are in that process you actually are connected to a different level in you know, on a energy level and that's where ideas come to you okay you you know you say that that's a eureka moment that right. idea comes so it 
it, where does it come from? So it's it's given to you because you are at, you are vibrating at a certain level, and that's how uh, you are tuned into the universe, and that's where the idea comes into you. So I strongly believe uh, when you are doing the, especially for my end, when we are working on projects, there's a lot of positivity, there's a lot of energy that goes into the design, that also uh, uh, makes the brand successful over a period. Yeah. So you know, as Einstein had correctly said, you know the problems we create at one level can only be solved when the solutions come from another level so probably that's exactly what you mean differently here yeah great so uh, we are coming uh, to the last part of our podcast today so okay. uh, you know so what's next now for both in your business and in your spiritual pursuits what what can we expect from niket going forward uh so from uh, my end i think it's uh, there's a lot to explore uh, so we are looking at expanding into uh, waters that's basically taking boiling point to uh, uh, different countries so we are looking at uae and the us as the markets right. and uh, that's one of the expansion plans and uh, uh, on a personal level uh, i'm also looking at uh, being a certified healer on an energy level so okay. i i look forward to those journeys all right great niket it was lovely talking to you thank you so uh, i i hope we can meet in person very soon we've been talking <laughs> to each other on the phone and we've been talking to each other virtually i think it's been a while since we met although we don't stay too far from each other but let's do that one of these days sure and 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 i'm hoping when we meet you are in this world and not in some other world <laughs> okay great okay. yaar thanks for your time thanks so much and uh, for uh, those who've tuned in i hope you have uh, subscribed to niket's community uh, niket would you like to tell us a little bit about this new role of yours as a podcaster yes so thank you first of all thinkly for giving this opportunity and i have started this uh, community called uh, design diaries wherein we are focusing on uh, getting amazing people from across the world so uh, uh, all designers from different aspects so it could be uh, branding it could be uh, photography it could be calligraphy it could be typography so we are exploring different designers from around the world and uh, exploring their journeys and how we can as a community how we can benefit from their insights so do log into that community also guys great so we've had preeti vyas uh, being there in the first of that series and i'm sure niket is going to invite a lot more people uh, and we're going to get some very very interesting uh, insights into their minds and you know all of us will be enriched as a result of uh, those interactions thank you niket thanks for doing that for us uh, with that uh, that's that's all for today and you know uh, niket if you could leave your contact numbers uh, for me on the whatsapp what i will do is i will share it on the community so anybody from here who would like to get in touch with you for more information and would like to be in touch with you of course they can log into your community but other than that if somebody wants to directly get in touch with you they do that and uh, that's it for this week so we'll see you next week again okay thank you so much people Thank you. Yeah thank you